first of all, you must be exhausted. You've been on every single carpet for the past three weeks. How do you stay sane and healthy and not so tired? I'm a little bit sleepy. I will get a good night's sleep tonight, but it's really exciting. I mean, how often do you get the opportunity to talk about projects you love with the people you love who help make them? That part never gets old. And you've kind of become this beacon of women during a period of time that didn't have as much of a voice as we do now. How does this role play into that? Well, I do have an affinity for hungry, ambitious, strong-willed women, and Emily is no different. Um, mm -hmm. She's one of the only female CIA members in the 1960s, and there were certainly not very many. Um, she's eager to prove herself in a male-dominated industry, and it's been really fun to get to bring her to life and also just a reminder of how far we've come but how far we still have to come. Absolutely. And so tell me a little bit about what it was like portraying this character within the realm of characters you play. Like, how do you make each one different? Well, they're all so different. I mean, it, it's interesting that that this film and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel take place in almost the exact same time, but they're in completely different parts of the world. We were shooting in London, we shot in Prague. Um, the film takes place partially in Russia. And, uh, and you know, while Maisel's about the comedy scene and New York City and the, the bold, vibrant life there in the 1960s, this is really different. The stakes are totally different, and I learned something completely new about the very same time period. And any CIA secrets or things in this <laughs> script that you were like, whoa, did that really happen? Well, I actually didn't know when I first read the script that it was based on a true story, and, I, and the story is so mind-boggling. I can't believe that it wasn't something that we learned about in school. Mm -hmm. I, I really thought it must be made up, but obviously parts of it are dramatized, but, but the basis for the story is true. This British businessman partnered with Oleg Penkovsky and MI6 and the CIA, and they arguably saved the world. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see this film.